Today we'll be showing you guys a trick which you guys can use in the arena season to fill up this bar as fast as possible. So as you know, it is the month of February, and what does that mean? Well, every 28 days, a new arena season ends and starts, right guys? And as you guys know, because it's February, the last arena season did end a long time ago, so that means the new arena season has dropped into the game, and we will be checking that out in this video. Alright guys, so let's hop straight over to Lamplight Town. Kaboom! Here we go, we have arrived in Lamplight Town, and let's head over to the side over here, and let's do that quickly. Mm, I am speed! The Colosseum! Let's enter inside! Alright guys, let's click on the arena caller and see what's up today. Alrighty guys, so those are basically all of the thing, all of the armors which you guys can get, and let's t take a look at the Triceratop Greaves. Alright guys, so it seems like all of the armor here has a hard bonus of 6, and you guys can tell, it says, you'll notice all of the armor over here has a hard bonus of 6, so let's check it out. First off, we have the Triceratop Greaves. Alright guys, let's read the description. No wizard will want to step on your toes while you're wearing these spikes. <laughs> I can see why. Do you guys see those three spikes on the front of every single shoe? If someone steps on their, on your foot, they're the one who's gonna get hurt. <laughs> yeah, I can see. So anyways, this has a heart boost of 6 and it's a pretty decent item for doing approximately 10 battles. Alright guys, alright, so next up on the list for 3,000 trophies or 30 battles, we have the Triceratops Helmet. Let's, let's check this out. Other wizards won't be able to tell if you're a Triceratops or a wizard, right? You guys can tell. They won't be able to tell. So this looks like a pretty cool mask. It kind of reminds me of the Anaconda from Lego Ninjago. But right, you guys can see that it does look like a Triceratops, we can see the three horns, and this is a pretty cool mask. Not only that, it's a hard one, of six. And further along, on our list for 80 battles, you guys can obtain yourselves the Triceratops armor. Let's take a look at this armor, right? Don't you guys agree with me? The armor looks pretty cool. Right guys, Triceratops armor. Made with super strong material to match the strength of a real Triceratops. So it seems like this entire month is actually based around the Triceratops. And they want to make it as close to the Triceratops as possible. And only at a mere 150 battles, what you guys will be able to do is you will be able to obtain yourself the Triceratops Mace. Dun dun dun! An epic wand. Hold the mighty power of the Triceratops in your hand! And it seems like the spell which you can cast is Strawberry Strike, and it has a range of 3 people, and is a power bonus of 15. Alright guys, 15 isn't the best power bonus in the game, although it is pretty decent. Right, so now this is all of the arena prizes which you guys, which you will be able to obtain. Right, now let's take a look at the seasonal leaderboard. Alright guys, now we're gonna find out what the top leaderboard arena season champions are. Right, so let's hop straight over to that. Now, as you guys can see, in first place, seems like we have Bolthead Kai, right? Let's check this guy out. This guy's profile looks pretty cool, seems like he was in the top thousand of the last season, so let's see how many battle points he's managed to accumulate. Alright, it seems like Bolthead Kai has 74,700 arena points, which is the equivalent of 747 non-stop lost battles, right? This is absolutely crazy. This guy is in the top of the leaderboard. And it, now, if you guys look down over here to 6th place, which is Woodland Adrena, you guys can see there are 5,570 arena points. Now, this was 1st place just 3 days ago. Well, you guys can see right now at 0 trophies, we have unranked. And at the very top of the list, the first person in all of Prodigy in the entire arena season is Woodland Adriana. Alright guys, so this is the first place in the entire arena, and it seems like they have approximately... And it seems like in just four days, in just three days, this person has managed to do approximately 551 battles in the game. Right guys, that is absolutely crazy. Let's head to the bottom and check who's in first place at the very bottom. Well, won't you look at that? It's another Woodland Adrena. I, I think... I think they're taking over the leaderboard. But anyways, you guys can tell this person is at level 92, and it doesn't seem like they've won any past, any previous arena seasons, but it does seem like they've managed to do 393 battles. 393 battles within. It seems like Woodland Adriana has managed to do 393 battles within the four days which the arena season has been out, right? That's pretty crazy. 393 battles non-stop like in four days that's kind of crazy but you guys can tell this is basically everyone on the arena season board right so it doesn't seem like too many of them are members although the member count increases when you near the 20s and the 30s but you guys can tell it looks pretty cool 
So these are all of the people who have managed to make it on the top leaderboard out of a thousand people. Now as of right now I assume that it may be that in order to get into the top thousand you may need a couple maybe 10,000 arena points. But once you guys get 10,000 arena points I do think you will be easily be able to make it into this uh, leaderboard right? Yeah so let's hop on to the rest of our video. Alright, now I will be showing you guys a trick which you guys can use in the arena season to fill up this bar as fast as possible. Right guys, so now this bar fills up every time you win a battle or you lose a battle. So you guys know what I'm going with over here. We're gonna lose a battle, right guys? Now to show this is true, I'll just go into battle and lose it, right? Yeah, over here where it seems like we're going up against a level 100 and let's lose this battle. Alright, now it's time for the waiting game. Alright guys, so we finally found- Alright guys, so we finally found our opponent who is willing to battle us in Prodigy, and now seems like we're going up into a battle against our opponents, and what happened to the previous opponents? Well, the previous opponent left. So yeah, let's battle this guy. Alright guys, it seems like this guy is using a hamster morph marble. Eh, that's pretty cool. But anyways, time to get back to our legendary battle! Ah, it seems like this person also left. Well, I guess you guys will have trouble losing a battle. But yeah, there you guys go. Basically what you guys would have to do is you just have to keep on doing battles until you find someone who'd let you lose or that. Right guys, so basically the best way to gain arena points is just by like doing battles and hoping that someone will allow you to lose 10 times or that some people will just leave the match. Right, if you find any of those two people, you guys will be able to fill up the 10-person um, um, battle bar with ease. But anyways, guys, that's all for this update video. I hope you guys found this informational. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. And I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius. Out.